Hello and welcome back to another episode of the GeoGuessr Daily Challenge. We've had four nice golds in a row. Let's go for a fifth. Um, it seems like recently, the past like couple hours, my internet has been kind of slow. Uh, whatever's going on with that. So we might or we might not see the effects of that today. Anyway, we're in Thailand. We see the Thai flag right there. Um, so we just really now need to find exactly where... Um, you know, in Thailand, we might be. Hmm. So it's in an area where there's not much English at all. Just all Thai, right? Or whatever the language or script might be called. I'm not really sure. This could help. Like a development. Hmm. No, it doesn't help. It says NP something. I don't know what that means, though. Yeah, I mean, it seems like our... When we click somewhere, it takes a half second longer to load than usual, so that does take some getting used to. It's kind of annoying, but hey, not everybody can play with the uh, the fast internet that I normally have. So, um, but Thailand, I mean, it's a big country. Where in Thailand do we think we are? You know, if we have no other information, we are gonna have to put a guess down somewhere. Here's something. Yeah, something that I can't read, unfortunately. They have a lot of these buildings in Thailand. I actually wonder what... Hmm. I wonder what they mean. So here's an English program. I see that. First thing I can read all around is English program. Great. Nothing, nothing. Oh, so now it looks like we're on some sort of different road. Kind of warped through the wall there. Um, minute left. This says police station, but nothing else that I can read. Once again, this is not very helpful. Unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be this entire round. Um, the story of the round is basically impossible to tell where you are. Um, and unless you know Thailand well, pretty hard to guess where in the country you are as well um, so what I'm gonna do is I am just going to place it down kind of right in the middle right there so I can cover my bases as well as I can I don't know if I could do any better than that guess to be honest I just have no idea and yeah it's really slowing down it's kind of like it's annoying having to like wait a whole second, you know, when you click just to be able to see everything. Um, it makes you play a little bit differently. Yeah, okay. Wow, okay. Not bad. Not bad. We're to the east of Bangkok here. Um, but I really genuinely had no idea how to tell where I was, so I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. Okay. Now we are in, so this is um, Svarka, Svarka uh, Argon, Svarka Argon is what that says, I believe. This says Firovo, and then this says Krasnomaisky, Firovo and, huh, interesting, wait. White license plates could be in Ukraine or Russia, but I don't really know which one. Let's look for Fidovo, though. I, I'm not familiar with the name. I am first going to look in Ukraine really quick. Fidovo. Mm, no, not seeing it. If I missed it, I apologize. I'm a bit tired. Fidovo. Could we be over here? No. If anything, we'd be near Moscow, I would think. But okay, um, this is tough. I'm trying to figure out what else there is to work with. I guess another sign will do. Um, and this one is pointing. Oh, it's the same sign. 
All right, so let's go and look for another sign since I can't seem to find Fidovo anywhere. Could it be somewhere else, I wonder? I don't know. Where's this sign? Oops, I'm right next to it. <laughs> oh, the 110 and towards Mosque, the M E105, sorry. The M10 towards Moscow. The E100. And then it's to Moscow is to the southeast, so we gotta be up here then. Near St. Petersburg, maybe? There's the M11. There's the E105. Hold on. And Fidovo. Could it be up here? Oh no. This could be bad. Well, we're not all the way up here, certainly not. Oh boy. Okay, so we lost a thousand points. It could have been worse, honestly. But damn, where's Fidovo? I really don't see it anywhere. It's one of those rounds where you're searching for something that's either too small or just hard to see. And I don't see it anywhere. That's a shame. Well, hey, you live and you learn. Not too bad though, a thousand points. We can still come back from that. Let's see. Okay, we're in Chile. This is, um, you know, one of those public works uh, signs. Trying to read what it says there, but I can't really tell. Let's read this sign. Yeah, something Mapuche. Okay. Cool. Doggy. Okay, so let's examine our surroundings. We can see that the trees are definitely not northern. They're like going to be towards the colder sides of things which is also where you find um, a heavier population of native Mapuche uh, in Chile so let's look for a better sign though because I really don't know where necessarily I just know south of Santiago which is not really enough info obviously um, The bus doesn't really have enough info for us. Maybe the truck. Cruz y Davila, those are names that won't help. Um, so that's not good. I'm going to go the other way. We're going to go this way. I didn't like where that was headed. Um... Dusty road, very dusty road. So that's an interesting thing to keep in mind. We might not be near too much water. I don't know if that takes, is that something, to, you know, to think about? I don't know. Um, but this kind of feels like, I don't know, might be out here in, I don't know, Temuco kind of sounds about right. Oh, this is a good sign, kind of. Trauco. Okay, well, that actually does not help. Trauco, because that's just going to be a small, small little town that I'm not going to be able to find. Um, at least, I don't think I'll be able to find it. Um, I hope we're not too far down. I th think I'm in kind of the right area. We could be up here even though. That's the problem with this. This is hard. Ooh, not too bad. I'll take that. 
I'll definitely take that. Um, we had kind of the right thought process. Um, and once again, Trauco not on the map. Uh, the signs have been really, really tough today, but we lost another 500 points, which means we are running out of a buffer here. All right, so we're in what looks to be either South Africa or Australia. We're driving on the left. The dirt is red. I just saw a cow there on the left side. Um, and this is a barren, barren road. Um, where do we think this could be? see a sign there that I like. Bangkara. Interesting. Okay, this has to be... Segonyana. This has to be South Africa, I would think. Um... Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the typical South African type of sign. And we're on the R31, probably in the northern area. Um, really got to zoom in for these ones. Here's the R31. Ho Tazel. This one is to our north. And Kuruman is to our south. So we'll be in the middle. Um, and we are at the turnoff for Bankara which is somewhere along here. Maybe it's that. It's a turn off when we're heading northwest downwards. This kind of seems like it would be it. So there's a path off top. It's that one probably. Yeah. Hey, I like this. Uh, so we're coming from the north. Now is Bankara that way? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it's another thing that's not on the map. But I think we're in the right place. I'm actually going to make the guess. Alright. We're a little bit further. We lost uh, about 100 points there. We're a bit closer to Kuruman. And okay, Bankara was there. I didn't expect it to be so close, but hey, not too bad after all. Um, I think we're still in it. Yeah, we have 400 points worth of buffer here. Okay, so we're in a Spanish-speaking country. What are the clues? San Jerónimo de Juárez. De Juárez. So, could it be Juárez, Mexico? I mean, this is a possibility. Um... San Jerónimo de Juárez. This is Mexico, Acapulco. So are we in Acapulco then? Or Juárez? Which one is it? Um, San Jerónimo. We're definitely in Mexico. No doubt about that. Okay, so let's read this sign. See what it says. Mexico 200, Zihuatanejo. See, Juatanejo. Very interesting. Uh, so let's go here. The 200 is the one that goes over here. And that thing. Okay, cool. Z, Z Juatanejo and San Jerónimo are where we're at. So we basically just need to find San Jerónimo de Juárez over here. Um, now that we have found that, there was a terminal, the autobús, right here which is this, and we were right across the street here at the corner. Boom. Nice and easy. What, an, what a great, what a great day. Wow. Comfortably in gold, 400 point buffer. Um, one perfect round. One perfect round. Two very, very close rounds. Thailand was just a solid guess, and Russia could have been closer, but not too bad. I'm very happy about that game. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe for daily GeoGuessr videos. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on today's daily. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.